Today you're gonna to learn how a micro adjustment on your mountain bike can make a massive impact on your overall bike control. Wheel placement is crucial when it comes to riding difficult sections of the trail and it's a skill that gets overlooked far too often. It's also the secret weapon that wins every single game of foot down. If you've never played foot down before, it's when a bunch of riders get together in an area and they try to balance on their bikes and bump into each other. The goal is to stay balanced and not put your foot on the ground. So the person who usually wins has the best bike control. My name is Aaron, welcome to Super Riders. On this channel, we break down complex bike skills into easy to learn techniques so you can quickly apply this stuff to your own riding. The other side benefit of today's skill is that it's a great replacement for the track stand. So if you've been struggling to learn the track stand or you find yourself in a place where you can't track stand, this is a great replacement for it. The core of what we're working on today is wheel placement, which impacts your balance, your bike control, and your position on the trail. We're going to master this skill by lifting and repositioning our wheels. First, we'll work on our front wheel, then our back wheel, then we're gonna put it all together. I did say that this was a bit of a micro adjustment, but you'll see in a few minutes how this applies to bigger movements on the bike. If you've watched some of the previous videos about pivoting on our front and back wheels, those skills are complementary to the one we're gonna learn today. Also, I'd usually have a few bike setup suggestions for learning the skill, but the only thing I really wanna focus on today is your hand position on the bars. Make sure your hands are as wide as possible using only your index finger to grab the brake. That will give you maximum control over the bike. It would be helpful to drop your seat and lock out your suspension, but neither is required for today's lesson. Back to our skill, the front wheel is the easiest one to start with, so let's begin there. We learned the concept of unweighting in a previous video, but as a quick refresher, unweighting is when we quickly move our body weight away from the part of the bike that we want to lift off the ground. Let's start with a rolling unweight of the front wheel. Just roll slowly and quickly move your hips backward to lift the front wheel off the ground. We aren't going for height on this, just get the wheel slightly off the ground. Next, start to slow down to an almost stop and try to unweight the front wheel two times in a row. Same motion of unweighting with your hips, just do it twice and then continue rolling. Next time, slow to a stop and try to get three front wheel lifts in a row. But think about where you're putting your front wheel. Is it in the same spot each time or could you try to move it slightly back and forth to maintain your balance? Now, try to come to a complete stop and keep your back brake locked. How many times in a row can you unweight your front wheel before you have to continue pedaling or put your front wheel down? My favorite part about practicing this skill is going for the high score. And here's the secret to getting the high score. It's all about using your front wheel to maintain your balance. So try lifting your front wheel to the left and then to the right. The second your mindset shifts from I'm lifting my front wheel off the ground to I'm using this front wheel to balance myself, high scores are coming your way. If you're having a hard time getting that front wheel to move, focus in on what your knees are doing. Remember that your hips control most of the unweighting motion. So if you open up your knee away from the bike as you're doing that unweighting, the front wheel should follow. You may have seen this this drill in a previous video, it's called pendulum. We start by moving our front wheel in one direction, then back the other way. This is another great drill to practice your front wheel placement in both directions. After just learning this skill with the front wheel, your balance and control has probably taken a giant leap forward. Now let's add in the back wheel and then we'll put the two together. As we start working on the back wheel lift, remember that our hips play a huge role in unweighting here and they have to quickly move to the handlebar to unweight the back wheel. We also use a technique called the pedal scoop, which is a motion where we push down, back, and up on our pedals. This helps guide the back wheel into the air as we're unweighting it. Same thing here, let's work on a rolling unweight of the back wheel. Just focus on getting your hips forward and lifting the back wheel up. Again, it doesn't need to be huge, just get it off the ground. We'll follow that same pattern of slowing down and trying to get two back wheel lifts in a row. You might play with your own technique a bit here. Is it easier for you to keep your weight over the bars and let the pedal scoop do the work? Now let's try to come to a stop and get more than two back wheel lifts in a row. I find that it's easiest to push the back wheel with my back foot, so you might just try starting in that direction. One trick that helps me move my back wheel around is pointing my front wheel in the opposite direction that I want to go. So if I want my back wheel to move right, I'll twist my front wheel to the left as I do the unweighting motion. You can do the pendulum drill with the back wheel, moving the wheel in either direction. Or if you wanna get really fancy, try this drill. It's called clocks and it's a full 360 with the back wheel. This is absolutely not required, but if you wanna feel like you've completely mastered this skill, do the clocks drill with both wheels. Start with the front wheel though, that one's easier. Since you've got both wheels individually lifting and repositioning, it's time to put it all together. 
This next skill is called rocking, and it's not the most exciting name, which is maybe why it gets overlooked so often. But this skill is the one thing that's going to give you the ultimate control over your bike, and it's going to completely replace track standing. You're definitely gonna feel the impact of unweighting here as we're gonna be swapping our weight back and forth over the front and back wheels. One way to start this motion is to roll along and grab a little front brake to do an endo. As soon as your back wheel hits, your weight is moving back, so you're already in the right spot to unweight the front wheel. See how long you can keep it going without putting your foot down. You can also initiate this by rolling slow and unweighting the front wheel. It's best to practice both versions, although the endo version is a good way to mix things up and keep it fresh. Another way to play with this technique is to try a rock walk. This is an old school BMX move and all you need to do is start moving side to side with the rocking motion. The BMX version is a bit more extreme, but we can get the basics going by rocking just a few inches at a time. If you want to get more movement out of this technique, my best advice is to over exaggerate your motions and your unweighting. A lot of times when people are learning stuff, they don't don't do as much as they think that they're doing. And so by over exaggerating, it actually gives you the proper amount of movement you need to do. As you become better at the technique, you become more efficient and you don't need to move as much. But as you're learning these, over exaggerating your movements can be a huge help. That's how we lift and move our wheels exactly where we want them to be. You have a level of bike control now that most riders don't have. And as a side benefit, the next time you play foot down, you're gonna be unstoppable. If this video was helpful for you, consider sharing it with someone that you ride with. If you wanna continue progressing on your bike, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss the next video. And if you can't wait that long, go check out this playlist right here. It's where all the good stuff is. In any case, go out there, have fun, and don't forget, practice makes progress.